The thing is, the strange thing about the AWY is that the vast majority of the battle is quite small. Yeah. You know, they're not the the huge sweeping things that you got on the continent. I think the biggest one was Mon Courthouse. Who now with That's what now? Really uh, sorry. What was that battle? Sorry. Monmouth Court. Um, Monmouth Court. Um, it's quite an interesting battle that one because it's um, it lasted a whole day, and and it's a very it was, uh, Washington was basically trying to catch the British Army on the hop on its way back to Philadelphia, back to New York. I think it was going to. And what he wanted to do was try and destroy it. Yeah. And obviously he didn't. Um, but it's, it's like um, loads of different engagements. And it's constantly on the move. Because, uh, of course, the, you know, the British objective is to keep going. Yeah, you know it's like, yeah. So for, certainly yeah, it for, sounds like for quite an interesting battle. That one. It is for, for certainly for a an eighteenth century battle, and b the um, the uh, the American and don't don't get me wrong the American War of Independence has got lots of really interesting battles, um, but it, it's like uh, it's, it's such a much more of a a battle of movement than um, a yeah, an actual the, static the battle. battle. And then you know the outflanking that you normally associate. If only we'd have had Marlborough in them days. Well, it's weird, you know. It's um, it's it's a really interesting period to read about because um, the Brits obviously lost the war, but they won most of the battles. Yeah, and it was kind of like our Vietnam, really. It was um. You know, we, we couldn't. We, we made a mess of it in a couple of ways. First of all, we didn't really engage with the loyalists so as much as we should have done. Yeah, I thought that. Yeah, and although loyalists appear in quite a few engagements, we didn't really. You know, the, the British, British government didn't really um, recognise them enough. Eng yeah, like I say, engage with them as much as they should have done. Um, you had um, three generals at the time, Burgoyne, Howe and Clinton, who, while not necessarily out and out hating each other, didn't particularly get on. Yeah. Uh, and one of the turning points of the war was um, there was there was two thrusts by the Brits. Um, Burgoyne came down from Canada to attack uh, northern New York State, I think it was. And originally, the idea would have been for Howe to march north. But he went off and attacked. You know, he, the, the, he got the Philadelphia campaign. Um, and then you ended up with... Then Burgoyne eventually had to surrender. Um, but again, he was a bit of a hothead and didn't really listen to what his, his um, subordinate commanders were telling him. They were all saying, look, this is... This, this, this campaign's not working, we need to turn back. Um, but he was but having he, none of it. it. Well, he was having none of it. And also, he, <clears throat> he, the, the march, the route that he took down from Canada, he, he went through all the wilderness and stuff like that. So he made it, the actual advance um, was very, very difficult anyway. And, um, and although the British Army... Um, it, it was it was cut off. It didn't have the supplies. It was it was just a bit of a farce, really. Um, how how was a strange character? You've got him and his brother, who was a, an admiral fleet, and both of them were um, uh, had sympathies with the Americans. Oh, right. And they looked at it as a bit of, a bit of a civil war. Um, and didn't really want to fight and eventually Howe 
Um, just, I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. He didn't give up his commission or anything, but he just kind of decided to go. I don't know whether he was recalled. Um, but he did really well. He won all, again. He won all the battles he was involved. In, what he was doing, but he's hard. And that's um, one of the things that you find, like, and it's a similar sort of thing with, uh, like I say, with Vietnam. You, you, you're, you're having to bring in stuff from troops are having to come from thousands of miles away. Um, and you've got at home in Britain, you've got people who, you know, there was an anti-war sentiment. They didn't didn't believe it was right that we were fighting our own subjects and stuff. And um, then, of course, once Burgoyne made a mess of it, that that brought France into the war. They saw their opportunity. They realised that the Americans were had potential of being a very very good army. Uh, which they kind of finished up the war, finished the war as a, a, a very good army compared to where they'd started the war. 